Hey everybody, it's Tara Gore with ElmJohn.com, and it's been a while, but we're back, and we're in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, Ohio is my home state, so we thought we'd celebrate, and I'm back here on stage-ish with the two cellos. <laughs> both have your own special, you know, music careers and past that you've been on, but did you ever think that you'd end up here, you know, to opening for Elton John? Well, if someone had told me this like a year ago, I would say, get out. <laughs> get out <of> <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is, I mean, it's like winning a lottery, you know. We feel really blessed, you know. did it come about that you guys got to be here? Well, everything started when we posted our video on YouTube. We received enormous amount of hits uh, in a short period of time. And uh, since I was a student at Royal Academy of Music, uh, and Elton is, is uh, he raises funds every year for students, I was his scholar, and that's how he got to us, and here we are. <laughs> yeah, as for those of you guys who don't know, um, he has uh, he does have a scholarship fund at the Royal Academy of Music, and you were the recipient of that. So, did you feel um, did you feel like you were making him proud? Yes, I mean it's a great honor, and it's such a coincidence at the same time that we are here now opening for Elton. <laughs> go about picking what songs you guys are going to play on tour? Uh, well, we just released our first album for Sony, uh, and uh, on our album are many songs from Guns N' Roses, U2, Michael Jackson, Nirvana, Sting, uh, Muse, Kings of Leon, so today we play four songs from our album. <laughs> Tell me about your musical backgrounds and kind of how you got here. We are classically trained, as you said. Until a few months ago, we discovered there is a rock animal inside of us. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just uh, we changed everything in our life. And instead of playing in small venues, we play in big stadiums. And it's great. I mean, we love, we love it. We are young and full of adrenaline now. And you met in London, correct? Both of you? That's right. Even though we know each other from before, we never studied in the same cities. And when I came in se last September to London, everything just exploded. And, uh, you know, we, we had separate classical careers as a soloist, but uh, we wanted to do something crazy and new, exciting, and started this project, and it opened so many opportunities to us. It was really amazing. <laughs> What makes you guys unique? Well, it's just two of us with two cellos. And <laughs> <laughs> Aptly named the two cellos. And that's very unique. Uh, and uh, because we try to create the sound of the whole band, the whole orchestra, and just two instruments, and our arrangements are very demanding and 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 very tiring. <laughs> <laughs> but it's something new and. Yeah, and <laughs> people are gonna see cello like they never seen it before, played with you know, like a rock guitar. <laughs> <laughs> it's the rock cello look. Well, no, talk about your set list because people are probably thinking two cellos. You guys are doing classical music, even though you're both pretty classically trained. You're yawning. What's your set list? Well, today we play four songs uh, by ourselves: Michael Jackson, U2, N Nirvana, and uh, Guns N' Roses. And then we continue with Elton. We play on 15 of his songs. After we finish the last song, he comes in and it's just great continuation of the show. It's like he plays introduction and then he comes in and it's like it's so exciting. What do your parents think of the kind of different turn this has taken? My mom is a bit scared how loud the concerts are. <laughs> <laughs> and they just go home uh, half of the concert because they're... <laughs> no, I'm joking. Well, it's something new to them. They don't know most of the songs and the bands. <laughs> but it's exciting. They, they share the, the excitement with the rest of people. 
And what about your family? Well, of course, both our parents are really proud and because they also sacrificed a lot in our, in our youth to give us the best lessons, the best school, buy the best instrument, you know. But not for the rock music. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't expect that we will, we will start this, but uh, of course they, they are, after they, they seen us, we are happy and all the opportunities we, we got, they are very happy and proud as well. Do you guys do the Twitter? Do you have a website? How do people find out more about what's going on with you? You can, our most uh, active is Facebook page, so you can find us Two Cellos Facebook page. And we also have Twitter and uh, twocellos.com. So.